Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video is episode two of Coffee Explained, where I dive deep into specific aspects of brewing coffee. So let's talk about espresso shot time. This is of course the total amount of seconds it takes for your shot of espresso to come out of your machine from the moment you press the button until the moment the machine stops it or you stop it. Depending on your machine, you may have a display that shows the shot time or you may be recording it separately. The real important question here is, should we be hitting a certain shot time? And my answer is no. But that doesn't mean that shot time is useless. Shot time is simply a function of the other espresso variables. When you change something in your recipe, the shot time will also change. If you grind finer, the shot is longer. If you grind more coarse, the shot is quicker. If you increase or decrease the dose of coffee going in and change your brew ratio, the shot time will also increase or decrease. The usefulness of shot time comes in not as a target to aim for, but as a guiding tool for consistency from shot to shot. Imagine a scenario where you pull a shot of espresso and 30 grams of liquid comes out in a reasonable 30 seconds. Now you go to pull a second shot, keeping everything the same and again, 30 grams of liquid comes out, but this time in 10 seconds. This 20 second difference is going to stand out to you and hopefully raise some red flags, even if you didn't get to see the shot come out. If you've been pulling your shots around 30 seconds all this time with your particular grind and brew ratio, then the shot time is telling you that something is wrong. In a less extreme example though, we can actually use the shot time as a way to slowly manipulate our grinders. Baristas in a cafe are very familiar with the experience of pulling shots over the course of several hours and seeing a steady increase or decrease of shot time, even just one or two seconds. And it's the job of the barista to make slight changes to the grind to account for these natural fluctuations and keep our espresso tasting consistent. Again, this may sound like we are targeting time, but it's more so that we have set our parameters, like our dry dose going in and our wet weight coming out, and made some espresso, tasted it, saw that it was good, and then recorded whatever the time happened to be. Now we are using that time to stay within the ballpark of that original shot. Focus more on keeping your variables consistent. Dose the same amount of ground coffee each time and weigh the coffee coming out. If you're experimenting and just want to have fun with your espresso, change one variable at a time and test its limits. And always taste the shot no matter how bad you think it might be. Messing around with the grind and seeing how it affects shot time is a great way to see where your shots are likely to run best. This may also give you some idea as to why many baristas don't enjoy shots that are less than 20 seconds or longer than 40. Of course, these are generalized ranges of times. The most important thing is to have fun and don't let anyone box you in a corner. I've been there myself and it's much more liberating to stop trying to squeeze your espresso within a narrow time frame. So that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful to you or if you've had any interesting experiences with shot time. Please consider subscribing as I do release weekly content and I hope you have a great day.